Hi, this is uh, Bob from Hobby Concepts, and today I'm back with Volume 5 of our Buyer Master Class. And today, we're going to hook up an S-Bus type radio and show how to do that. It just takes one cable to go from the receiver to the uh, SFR, and you can get as many as 16 channels out of that. So, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, if you've got an S-Bus radio, this is the um, volume to watch. So, let's get started. Let's look at hooking up a uh, radio with S-Bus um, to the buyer SFR1. Now this is a Flysky FSI6X which supports S-Bus. And many radios nowadays support S-Bus. The Flysky FS-I6X, the FS-ST8 are two of my um, real popular radios for it. And then the PL18EV of course supports it. So. Um, how do you hook it up? Very, very simple. Uh, you need one patch cable and on this particular radio the receiver is marked S bus here and it says servo. So that's our servo output. Plug it in right there and then on the SFR1 it plugs into the Prop 6 channel and we know that because on our wiring diagram it says S bus and shows plugged into the Prop 6 channel. That's it. Wait a minute, I thought this was supposed to be hard. No, it's not supposed to be hard. It's supposed to be easy. One cable connects all 10 channels from this radio and uh, will automatically uh, work as soon as we set it up in the sound teacher which I'm going to show next. You don't need to plug in the throttle cable, you don't need to plug in the servo cable. Um, my suggestion is for your steering servo plug it right into channel 1 which is where it's normally plugged in and you're ready to go. Now the neat thing about S-Bus is the receiver still works just fine. So even though you've you're digitally talking to the SFR1, all of these still work. So if you want to plug in a, a servo for your shifting, you can just plug it right into here. The SFR1 also will operate servos, but this makes a very simple installation for me, and so that's the way I normally do it. Now on the radio, uh, it needs to be set up to, to broadcast in SBUS. Now, read the instructions for your particular radio. They're all different. I mean, Radio Link does it, Flysky does it, many other manufacturers do it. Um, on this particular radio, we'll go to the menu, we'll go to the system menu, we'll go down to RX setup, we'll go down to output mode, we'll go over here to serial, and there's a little arrow that's pointed to SBUS, we'll or iBus, we'll go down to SBus, we'll hold that and cancel it, and back we go. So now we're all set to go. I'm going to now get my computer and get that set up, and we'll look at what you have to do in the Sound Teacher to uh, make SBus work. Okay, on setting up the Sound Teacher, now I've got the program in here that I have used in the previous volumes. I'm not going to change it. So what I need to do is go to the Configuration tab right there. And the General tab, everything's still the same. The Engine Sound, I've got it set to turn the engine on automatically by motion. So now what I want to do is go to the S-Bus tab. And this is quite easy. We're going to click Activate S-Bus at X26. And that turns on the S-Bus. Now what we want to do is we want to have channel 3 be our throttle. So prop 1 is always the throttle. So we're going to click channel 3. Prop 2 will be the steering and that's channel 1. So that takes care of these two. And then this is channel 2. So we're going to hook that to prop 3, channel 2, prop 4 is going to be channel 4 which is this one right here. And then we can decide later which channels we want to assign to those props or which switches. Um, but that's all we need to do. 
So now I'm going to zoom back out and I will uh, plug in the computer and then we'll transfer this over to our SFR1. Okay, to plug in the um, the unit, I did mention that I've taped off one of these so they can't touch and short out. I'm going to plug in a volume control, which is useful when you're setting it up because the volume is quite loud on these. I'm going to plug in a speaker. I'm going to plug in my data cable, and that plugs into the data cable port right here, and it's color marked. And then I'm going to plug in a two cell LiPo battery that I have here that I've been using. So now we're ready to transfer that S bus change. I'm going to click transfer project data. And that'll just take a second because we're only doing the changes that we made. Okay, I'll turn my radio on. So our steering is working just fine. Our throttle. Okay, that's all there is to hooking it up. That one simple cable between the receiver and the SFR does everything. Now the way I set this up, um, channel 2 here, up and down, is going to be prop 3, and channel 4 is going to be prop 4, and I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 more switches or knobs here, and I can assign each of those to a prop channel and then I can take advantage of all 10 channels in this radio and for example I can do the volume control here, I can do the engine start here and as we get into the actual programming those are the things that we're going to look at. Now I'm going to use this particular radio for probably the overview of the sound teacher and some of the simple sound setups and then later on probably in around volume I don't know 8 or so We'll switch over to a FlySky FS-ST8. So if you've got one of those, um, I'll show that radio also in the future. And then future videos, I'll, I'll have a PL18EV. So that's it. That's how you hook up the uh, S-Bus radios with one simple cable. Got my servo plugged into the other one. And uh, that's not too hard. So there you go. Uh, that's, that's volume 5, um, S-Bus radio setup. Please uh, continue to give thumbs up on these, and, and again, if you've got questions or comments on a, a future video in this series, uh, just drop them in the comment section. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.